Hello vinyl community, it's time for another quick and dirty video. <laughs> yes, um, if the lighting looks a little different, let me tell you, it's because it's a little after 6 a.m. Yes, thus, some coffee. <laughs> yes, so the plan today, cheers by the way. Um, the plan today is to head out to the desert because it's not hot enough in Riverside. <laughs> now we're, we're going to go uh, hang out with, with uh, family um, at a resort. <laughs> um, so there was talk of, of going to a record store today. Um, you know, my brother-in-law in particular mentioned it. But, you know, I, I'm kind of doubting, you know, that it's going to fit into today's schedule. So, I still needed a vinyl fix. So, yesterday, after work, um, I headed straight over, because it's not often I'm able to go to this place. They're only open three days a week for pretty limited hours, I think from uh, either 11 to 7. I think 11 to 7. And they're a little bit further out than I would like. Still in Riverside, but a little bit further out than I would like. Actually, both the record stores are crazy. Anyway, um, I love this place. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you remember, but a while back, quite a while actually, I, I showed this, this epic score of 50 cent records, and it was just excellent stuff. Excellent. Um, so that's the same place. Anyway, so first of all, picked up um, a couple of free publications. Record Collector with an article about the um, Tower Records documentary. And LA Record. Not sure who this is on the cover. Yeah. I guess it's talking about Coachella and South by Southwest and Record Store Day. Interesting. And then, now, the records I picked out alone were supposed to be out about $15. And several of these CDs were, you know, were, some of them were, he said, were free. And then some of them he said were supposed to be 50 cents, but he just gave them all to me for free. So, but you know they're local bands, so it's it's like not really, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, the Turbulent Hearts, um, Fool of Fate. <laughs> I'll go through these very quickly. Some of them have good packaging, but some of them not so much. Uh, to the World's End. That's some kind of cool packaging there. Madeline, you're standing on my magazine. And, you know, some of these are, are clearly, you know, homebrew, like. <laughs> this is off Ninth and Hope. And I suspect some of these are, because it's also a venue. Um, in fact, they were ta talking about the bands that were going to be there. Uh, this, he said, is a good hardcore band, uh, The Dirty Priests. And then we have some with even better packaging, uh, The Dangers. This is uh, Embrace the Light Outside. But yeah, um, these may have been bands that were performing there. They probably, they probably were. Um, this apparently is a young rapper. Uh, he's supposed to be a super nice guy. Uh, his name is Young Sincere. Uh, the Great Light Human Race EP. And the last one of the, the free CDs, and the best packaged actually, is uh, Chrysalis, Focus on the Center. So I'm going to love listening to these. I, I just love discovering new music, especially unsigned bands and that sort of stuff. Um, but a couple, a couple shout-outs here. Well, two shout-outs to the same person here. <laughs> First of all, a 
a very, very important message to James Lobin. You never forget your first doctor. <laughs> Hi, James. <laughs> and second, what, what very few people know about James Lobin is, don't tell anyone, he's a huge, huge fan of this next artist. Huge fan. Uh, but don't tell anyone. No, no, it's a secret. Only I know this. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Mr. Willie Nelson. Yes, James Lobin is a huge closet Willie Nelson fan. He lives, yeah, he lives in Austin, and he's a huge, huge Willie Nelson fan. <laughs> Sorry, James. <laughs> You're going to get all sorts of Willie Nelson VCLT now. <laughs> um... All right, so this is the Minstrel Man. Um, trust me, this is still going to be a quick and dirty video. <laughs> uh, I was so excited to find these. These were... Um, I think they, they should have been in the... Why am I not seeing the price on here now? Huh. I think a, a couple of these were... 50 cent records. Anyway, I'm confusing myself now. All right, so um, I think this may have been a 50 cent record. I could be wrong, but uh, this one is interesting. It's the Best Buy series. Yeah. So uh, the Mistral Man, very cool, very cool. Yeah, James doesn't really like Billy Nelson. Um, Another one from the Best Buy series. Love the cover on this. Um, Yesterday's Wine. Very cool. I have quite a collection of Willie Nelson records now. I'm very excited. I love, I, I really do love Willie Nelson. Uh, that's probably obvious though. And this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, Island in the Sea. And now for another band, and this I'm very excited about. Um, I don't see the prices on those, but I swear they were two fifty. I'm, I'm so confused right now. Oh, I know. He took the prices off. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, those were two fifty each. They were uh, normally five dollars, but he marked them down. Uh, they were in the fifty cent bin, so they were uh, two fifty. Um, very excited about these. One of my favorite bands, the Hollies. You know, it, um, I, I have one of their more, re actually two copies of one of their more recent albums. And, you know, it, it's not great. But when they're great, they are great. Uh, the Hollies, this is uh, what goes around. And just one more record after this. And it's also the Hollies. Looks like an, a much older one. Ah, from 70... 75... Yeah, 75. Uh, this is... Oh, <laughs> it's the Hollies. Clark, Hicks, Sylvester, Calvert, Elliot. That's the name of the album. <laughs> anyway, obviously I'm a huge Willie Nelson fan. A huge um, uh, Hollies fan. I think this might make my third Holly's record now. And I'm enjoying some some nice hot coffee before I ha before I head out to the nice hot desert. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.